Hey, I just want to do a short video here about this not being reported all that much that really points to economic collapse and troubles in with finances because of the president's attitude towards money. Now, if you're watching in last night's presidential debate between Obama and Romney, President Obama made a very, very juvenile remark about Romney's personal wealth. Mitt Romney at one point in the debate was being accused of investing in Chinese companies, offshore trusts, and creating jobs overseas. And then he turned to President Obama and asked if he had looked at his pension lately to make the point that President Obama himself, yes, President Obama himself has invested in those same kinds of investments in China through a Cayman Islands Trust. So how did our wealth-hating president respond to the question, Mr. President, have you looked at your pension? Obama said, you know, you know, I, I don't look at my pension. It's not as big as yours, so it doesn't take as long. Honestly, frankly, that sounds like an answer that a four-year-old would give to his six-year-old brother. And not only is it infantile, it shows the president's complete lack of understanding and respect of wealth. I mean, uh, give me a break. But that's not all. Not only did the audience let out a low-level laugh at Obama's lame one-liner, and the press room set aside for reporters during the debate, it erupted in applause, if you can believe it, at Obama's jab towards Romney. That, folks, is a very sad testimony as to where we are today in thinking about and valuing wealth. For those out there that believe that the government is the giver of all good things, hello, newsflash, the only real jobs created in this country are not created by government, they are created by the private sector. Government does not create real jobs. It takes money from private citizens and moves those job ar jobs around that would normally be created by entrepreneurs. Private citizens and companies create jobs by earning capital through providing a product or service or from investors hoping for a future gain. They then spend that capital on increasing their businesses, which in turn hire more people. The first act of any business that wants to expand is to sell more products or services they actually, and then they actually earn money for that. Conversely though, when government wants to expand, what they do is take money without providing anything. They then take a cut, they then give that money to someone else, and then maybe, maybe somewhere down the road, those that had their money taken by government may receive some kind of benefit like being able to drive on a road or something, but then again, they may not. That is how government works. It takes, but wealthy people have to somewhere provide a product or a service so they can earn money. And our president shows a complete, complete lack of economic and investing principles by making a wisecrack, a stupid wisecrack about Mitt Romney, who is a producer and a creator of jobs, and a whole room of reporters applauds that immature and sophomoric behavior. If that isn't an indication of pending economic collapse when such fools, absolute fools, display a complete lack of fiscal understanding, I don't know what is. I've linked to an article in the video description below that actually goes into the reporters applauding Obama's slam on Romney's wealth. It's here at well, the Washington Times. You can check that out and read how ridiculous that is. So anyway, leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section below this video if you are on either YouTube or Facebook, and I look forward to hearing from you.